Blessings, greetings each and every one. I'm back again with you guys with another video and today I'm going to be making Jamaican bun. So here guys are all my ingredients. Here I have two and a half cup of flour. I have my B cell butter. I have molasses. I have malta. I have my almond extract. I have my mixed essence. I have vanilla. I have ground ginger. I have my salt. And I have my baking powder. And here I have some fruits that I've been soaking to make my Christmas cake. So I'm just using some from it. But I'm just letting you guys know it's optional if you don't want to use this. You can just use whatever fruits you want to use. And I know some people don't really like fruits in their buns. So it's up to you what you want to use. And here I have my strawberry jam. And I have sugar. So with my bun recipe guys. I, you guys have the options of putting the amount of sweet that you need in your bun because not everybody likes too much sweet so this way now you can control how much sugar you want to put into your bun I usually like to use dragon or Guinness but if you don't have dragon or Guinness go ahead and use malt it's just pretty much the same so now I'm going to throw it into the pot. I already had the stove and the pad on the stove. So this now is just to, um, to dissolve my sugars and stuff. So I'm turning it down and low. Some molasses. About that for now. And also going to put a little bit of onion, not much, just a little bit. I'm going to add my sugar. But I'm going to use, I'm not going to put an amount to the sugar because I'm going to sweeten to taste. So it's all, it all depends on you, the amount of sugar that you want. I know you said bun, sweet bun, but it's not everybody like too much sweet. So this way you now you can control. So I'm going to sweeten and now I'm going to taste to see if I have the right amount of sugar. I'm just going to add a little bit more to it. And that's it because it's sweet enough for me for me it's sweet enough but for you if you're making your bun and you're somebody with sweet tooth then you can add more to it so this is my amount of sugar and I'm gonna add a little bit of the strawberry jam to it just to give it a little bit of flavor So I'm going to let this cool down for a bit and after this is cooled down then I'm going to add my vanilla and almond essence and my mixed essence. So now guys I'm going to put some butter in here. About this amount of butter. So this is good when you put it on the stove it gets to dissolve the sugar and the butter. I'm gonna just use my whisk. So I did turn off the stove, but it's still warm enough to dissolve the butter. And guys, it's very easy and simple and I cannot advise you guys just try to make your own little stuff at home you know it cut 
cost in your food. Stuff like this is very simple and easy. So that's it right here. Already told you guys I have about two and a half cup of flour in here. So now I'm gonna put the dry ingredients in. So here I have um, nutmeg. I usually have the grated one, but I don't have the grated one, so now I'm gonna be using this one. And you can grate the amount that you want. So that's the amount I'm gonna use in my nutmeg. And now I'm going to be adding my baking powder. I'm just going to use about a teaspoon of baking powder. Just going to have a little tap more. And I'm going to be using my cinnamon, about a teaspoon of cinnamon. About a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to mix. This is the dry ingredients here. And I have my ginger powder here. It's optional, guys. If you don't want to put it, it's fine. I'm just going to use in that amount of ginger. Don't want too much ginger in here. And this is all for the dry ingredients. So stay tuned, guys. When my liquid is cooled down, I will come back and show you guys what I'm going to do. Down. So now I'm going to add my vanilla. That's a teaspoon. You know already I do my eyeballing. The tat of almond essence. And my mixed essence. That's good. So now guys, I'm going to pour this now into my dry ingredients. And now I'm gonna add my fruits. I'm not gonna pour all at once. So you just mix it in till all the flour is dissolved in. In my loaf pan, you can add um, brown into it, but I didn't put any brown in because I use my molasses, so I already have the color that I needed already. But if you want to put a little brown in in yarns, you can go ahead. So now I'm going to put it in. I have my set my oven at 350 and I'm going to bake for about 20 to 30 minutes so just stay tuned guys. So 
So here it is, guys. It's about to go in the oven now. And I'm going to bake for 20 to 30 minutes. But check on it, though. Welcome back, guys. So this is my bun here that I just took out of the oven. And for this recipe, you can put an egg. I didn't put an egg in this one. But when you're making yarns, if you like, you could put an egg. But make sure when you put the egg in, your mixture is already cooled down before you add the egg. So it only need like one egg. But for this one, I didn't put an egg in there. But it's fine. So here I have a quarter teaspoon of butter, a quarter teaspoon of um, honey, and a quarter teaspoon of jam that I melted. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it, glaze, glaze it on the bun. So this is just a glaze I make. So look at it, guys. Very, very easy and simple. So you guys go ahead and make your bun quite quite easy and simple nothing odd to it guys and with this way you can also cut down on your sugar and you know whatever you want to put in here so look at it guys just follow my my simple steps and my recipe and you'll be fine but as I said, I didn't put an egg in this one. But go ahead when you're making yarns. If you want, you could put an egg in there. If you don't, that's fine. And this is it, guys. Fast and simple. So I'm going to let it cool down for a little bit. And then I'm going to cut you guys a slice. Stay tuned. So welcome back again, guys. So this is the finishing product of my bun my jamaican bun guys look how good it's looking nice and tasty go ahead guys and make your own bun and remember to like share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend and it's christmas once again so guys remember i have my christmas cake video up and my sorrel drink so go ahead guys and check out my channel for how to make your own Christmas cake and your sorrel drink. Merry Christmas everyone and all the best for you and your family. Love you all and I pray God blessing always. Have a merry, merry Christmas from my kitchen to your kitchen. Love you all.